to the third episode of Mapagyaman, an interactive conversations on regenerative futures by the Davao Oriental State University Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development, where we dive deeper to the university's vision of excellence, innovation, and inclusion. Dorsu is a regenerative university. This is the branding that the university wants to have ever since Dr. Roy Ponce became the university's president. With his willpower and the great team working with him came the program of Hiraya ng Silangang Davao, a university-wide capacity-building program towards the establishment of a center for futures thinking and regenerative development. To give us clarity about the projects under this program, we have the first ever Director for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development, Miss Vanessa Asayas. Hello, ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to your office. <laughs> welcome to our office. Thank you, Miss Camille. And Hiraya Manawari, thank you very much for having me here. It is my pleasure to be with you in this episode. Mm -hmm our Mapagyaman podcast series. Okay, so are you ready for our Q&A, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready. <laughs> okay, so for our first question, uh, can you walk us through the process of establishing the Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development? Oh yeah, sure. Well, actually, the, the Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development was established through the project titled Hiraya ng Silangang Davao. It is a university-wide capacity-building program towards the establishment of the center. It is led by no less than our university president, Dr. Roy Ponce, and we received a two million funding from the office of Senator Pia Cayetano. Mm -hmm. She is one of the leading advocates of futures thinking and strategic foresight in the country. And the process of establishing the center actually involved various stages starting from, of course, extensive research done by the project team. We also went through consultations with leading and expert futurists in the country. We went through trainings and workshops. And basically, we those um, stages paved the way for the establishment of the center. The, the team, the founding team, the project team is actually composed of diverse academics from from a variety of disciplines. So, meron tayong mga IT specialists, mm -hmm. meron sa field ng engineering and mm -hmm. architecture, meron din sa education, mm -hmm. natural sciences, of course. So, composed tayo ng very, very diverse mm -hmm. yung project team natin. Kaya, we come up with very diverse din na set of programs and activities planned for the center. So, the team also work closely with the Research, Innovation, and Extension Division to ensure that the center, being one of the RIE centers in the university, is aligned with the vision and mission of the RIE division mm -hmm. and the university as a whole. So, so those were the the process mm -hmm. na we, 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 that we've undergone para ma-establish ang ating center. Mm -hmm. So, eto na. <laughs> so, uh, we really give uh, much thanks to Senator Pia Cayetano for her generosity. Yes po. And, and yeah. yes, and of course, through the, the support of our Ch our CHAD Commissioner, mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. Aldrin Darilag, mm -hmm. he is very supportive mm -hmm. of us establishing this, this center that focuses on futures thinking and regenerative mm -hmm. development. Very supportive si Commissioner Darilag. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also should not forget the very diverse team. No. Behind uh, the creation of CFTRD. Uh, no, definitely, no? <laughs> Ms. Camille. Okay, for our second question, how does... Uh, since we talked about CFTRD as part of the RIE, uh, how does the CFTRD differ from other research centers in the field of sustainability and environmental studies? And 
what are its unique contributions uh, that it can bring to the table? Oh, <laughs> well, as mentioned by our director for research in the previous episode, mm-hmm. unique yung positioning ng Center for mm-hmm. Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development kasi it's under the Research, Innovation, and Extension mm-hmm. Division. So, basically, it integrates the center integrates futures thinking and regenerative development principles Mm -hmm. in its research innovation and extension programs so uh, we integrate all these three and we also place a strong emphasis on yeah on research Mm -hmm. so we we generate new knowledge new insights on Mm -hmm. futures thinking and regenerative development we also strive to develop innovative solutions Mm -hmm. to address sustainability challenges which are of course very complex Mm -hmm. given our wicked problems Mm -hmm. in the society and environment nowadays and in addition the the center very committed tayo to extending our expertise and knowledge to our to our communities, to our stakeholders, mm-hmm. mga government agencies, private organizations in general. So mm-hmm. through our ex- extension activities, we we engage these stakeholders so that ma promote natin yung yung awareness about what futures thinking and regenerative development is and how we can apply the principles para ma-attain natin ang ating pinaka-aasam na regenerative futures. Mm. So, um, ito yung mga, yung focus ng Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development. And these activities also make the center uh, unique mm. from other centers, research mm. centers mm. in the country. Mm. So, um, uh, when we talk of our regenerative future, regenerative uh, development, it has been discussed previously in our episodes, and I'm sure our viewers, our listeners, have uh, took notes of it. Na, parang it it centers mainly on the natural sciences. However, uh. I would like to ask, how can the center contribute this time in the promotion of disciplines outside natural sciences, such as social sciences, business per se? Oh, good question. Well, actually, si- since ang, ang strength kasi ng university is on um, natural sciences, no? mm-hmm. biodiversity research, environmental management, and preservation and conservation, so parang na-highlight Ang, ang role ng center towards this. Mm-hmm. However, the center fosters interdisciplinary collaboration. So we provide a platform for, for professionals, for students, for researchers from different disciplines to, to come together and collaborate on various programs and research projects. Mm-hmm. So by encouraging collaborations between disciplines, mm-hmm. The center can help to promote a more holistic and integrated approach to problem solving using the principles of futures thinking mm-hmm. and regenerative development. Also, the center offers, as I have, as as doc, uh, Dr. Ponce has mentioned in the previous epi- um, episodes, mm-hmm. we offer capacity building programs so that we can equip everyone <laughs> with the skills and knowledge para matakal ang mga complex uh, challenges mm-hmm. using futures thinking and regenerative development um, lenses. Mm-hmm. So, this um, cross-disciplinary approach, mm-hmm. dito nagkakamin ang Center for mm-hmm. Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development. So, hindi tayo co- confined mm-hmm. into natural science, mm-hmm. but we encompass Mm-hmm. these um, various disciplines such mm-hmm. as yung mga na-mention mo nga social sciences, mm-hmm. um, humanities, culture and arts, mm-hmm. ano pa yung governance, business, IT, mm-hmm. etc. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yun, um, na-encompass natin lahat. Mm-hmm. So just to clarify, it's not really strict and it's not confined in the natural sciences but it, it encompasses everything. It, uh, it has a lot to offer. It has a very wide, well, uh, from what you mentioned a while ago, ma'am, the, the team is also diverse. So that also means that the program uh, is also diverse in, in uh, sa kanyang sakop. Okay? Yes, exactly, Miss mm. Camille. <laughs> so, 
How about this one, ma'am? What ongoing projects are the center actively working on and what new initiatives are in the pipeline? Oh yes, marami. <laughs> Sobrang dami, no? Kaka, kaka-inaugurate pa lang ng center, pero marami na tayong mga, mga ginagawa. Mm-hmm. Now, the center is um, actively engaged in the Hiraya ng Silangang Davao project, as I have mentioned kanina. And we focus on several components. Meron tayong uh, promotion, more on uh, information dissemination and public awareness, where we launched our strategic communication campaign mm-hmm. para ma-establish natin ang niching and branding ng university as mm-hmm. a regenerative futures university. Mm-hmm. So, meron tayong itong podcast mm-hmm. series. We will be releasing more publication materials mm-hmm. para more people will know what futures thinking is, mm-hmm. what, fu- what regenerative development is, and how does Dorso come into the picture. Mm-hmm. And also, as part of the center's operationalization, mm-hmm. we will be conducting soon mm-hmm. a right shop para ma-develop natin Ooh. ang manual of operations ng center. And mm-hmm. in, of course, in collaboration ito with our key university administrators. Mm-hmm. And in line naman of our commitment to capacitate Dorsu in futures thinking and regenerative development, we have a range of initiatives in the pipeline. And this include yung katigaman professional lectures. Mm. Must, uh, um, you must, um, tawag nito, um, look forward sa katigaman professional, mm. professorial lectures natin. Meron din tayong pagbansay. This will be a capacity building program in regenerative futures. Mm. Upcoming na din ang Katigaman Community Conversations. Mm-hmm. And these activities will equip dorsal constituents with the knowledge and practices related to futures thinking and regenerative development. Well, basically, overall, our goal is to foster a culture mm-hmm. and to inculcate mm-hmm. regenerative futures in the nitty-gritty, in, mm-hmm. the, in, the, in all operations of the university. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung mga kailangan abangan. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, balik ko na na ko, ma'am. Our incoming programs include Katigaman. Yes, we have mm-hmm. Katigaman Professorial Lectures mm-hmm. and Katigaman Community Conversations. Okay, Professorial Lectures and Community lectures, conversations. conversations, and pagbansay. Yes, pagbansay. Pagbansay will be a series of capacity building activities. Okay, that will be a, a, a lot of uh, work to do, but of course, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this <laughs> for the sake of un- the university. Yes, of course. Next, um, as the... Uh, as the first director of CFTRD map, what are your future plans for this center and how do you see the center evolving and growing in the years to come? Oh, <laughs> well, our goal is to position the center as a leading institution. Wow, grave. <laughs> a leading institution in the field of futures thinking and regenerative development in the region if not in the country, Char. <laughs> now, to achieve this, we, we plan to expand our outreach efforts and, of course, deepen our engagement no, with mm-hmm. our stakeholders and to establish mm-hmm. partnerships with leading institu- future thinking institutions in the mm-hmm. country. So, we also aim to strengthen our research capabilities and build a network of scholars and experts who can contribute to our work. Now, in terms naman of, of programming, we will continue to offer a range of capacity building initiatives, including yung mga trainings, workshops, seminars, conferences, yung mga na-mention ko kanina na mga activities in the pipeline. pipeline. Those will contribute to those will strengthen mm. the the center and to of course we also plan to to establish mga partnerships sa government agencies natin mm. para sila din 
um, they will be they will be aware and mm -hmm. ma inculcate sa kanilang operations ang future thinking and regenerative development. So yun yung mga um, nakakita ng center na um, posibleng mm -hmm. <laughs> ma, ma, ma achieve natin in the years to come. Lord willing, of, of course. course. And of course, with the support of the administration mm -hmm. and the team. Mm -hmm. So, kayang kaya. Oh, of course, ma'am. <laughs> so, uh, you mentioned previously, ma'am, na uh, in partnership with uh, the gover uh, other agencies, uh, that also includes, I guess, with the students. Yes, so, of course. how can these students and, of course, the researchers get involved with the Center for Future Thinking and Regenerative Development? Oh, yeah. May mga nagtatanong na nga, eh, ma'am, yung mga students, may mm. mga nagme-message na, how can we how can we get involved with uh, the center? Mm. Ano yung mga, paano kami makasali, maka-join? Mm. Well, there are several ways. Mm. Marami tayong, um, maraming mga activities na i-offer ang center mm -hmm. which can be participated by our students and of mm -hmm. course yung mga academics natin, yung mga researchers natin they can get involved with our series of capacity building initiatives. I have mentioned our training workshops, mga seminars natin, conferences. We will be holding um, many uh, capacity building activities. So our students are very much welcome. Actually, mm -hmm. they will be enjoined. <laughs> you will be enjoined to participate mm -hmm. in our capacity building programs. Mm -hmm. And these programs are designed to equip us with the necessary knowledge and skills related to futures thinking and regenerative development. Mm -hmm. Para we can articulate what regenerative futures is. Kapag tinanong ang students, mm -hmm. anong regenerative futures? So we can easily answer mm. ano nga ba ang regenerative futures kasi ngayon medyo medyo vague pa siya medyo Ay. ano pa siya sa pandinig ng iba so with our upcoming mga active activities for our students hopefully ma, ma enlighten ta mm -hmm. and the discussion will be of course very insightful ma articulate na nato unsa bagyod ang regenerative futures mm -hmm. secondly for our researchers and academics we can collaborate with joint research projects and activities and of course publications related to futures thinking and regenerative development mm -hmm. so um we are we are planning to to provide funding under the under the center mm -hmm. para sa mga academics natin who oh. plan to to propose mga research projects mm. na na within the area of focus ng ng center. Mm. So perhaps uh, this this year mm. we will be launching that in collaboration of course ng ating director directorate for for research. Mm. So abang abang abangan na lang natin. Yes. <laughs> so so ayun, yun yung mga activities na pwedeng mag-come in ng ating mga students, ang ating mm. mga researchers. And of course, yung mga outreach activities natin, extension activities natin, mm -hmm. very much welcome ang participation mm -hmm. ng ating mga students and academics. Mm, okay, so ma'am, do you have anything that you would like to add for, uh, <laughs> na hindi natin na-discuss uh, for the kanina? <laughs> Ragdaghan kita na discuss. <laughs> and um, um, ano lang? Um, I'd like to I'd like to invite everyone to watch out for the upcoming activities, mga ganap ng ng center. Rest assured that the Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development is is working and is um, is set mm -hmm. to to make. Ano ba? Uh, hindi naman change, <laughs> but, but is is set to to mainstream and to position mm -hmm. the university as a regenerative, as a leading institution of regenerative futures. So abagan natin ang mga susunod na pasabog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, Mom, for coming in and. Again, this is your guest here. We have the first ever Director for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development. And of course, to our futurists, thank you for taking your time and being with us today. We value your presence. So if you have any questions and suggestions on the improvement of this segment, send us a message and we will consider them right away. 
Please support us by following our Facebook page, Dorsa Center for Futures Thinking and Regenerative Development, and our Spotify, Historiata. This has been your host, Camille Ann Linsag, and I'll see you in our next episode.